Hello everybody, I'm Loafdog and welcome back to Trails in the Sky. So let's see what's going on here at the fort. You heard the man, this area's off the limits. Be on your way. Right, but what if I wanted to get in? Oh, I can't turn around. Uh, so then, Joshua, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to tell me how to do that. Somehow, I find it hard to believe a word that guy said. Especially if that little malfunction we just saw is what I think it is. What you think it is? Yes, it was probably that same phenomenon. The one from the black orb, you mean? Uh, but I don't know, we didn't see like the whole thing around it. Which would mean... The professor is being held prisoner inside. Shh, Estelle. This isn't the place to be discussing that. Oh, okay. For now, let's get back to Zeiss and see what Kilika has to say. If we have the chance, we can call for the lab chief. The lab chief at the military post? Oh no, the... no wait. He said the lab chief, yeah, not the factory chief. I don't know. I just can't believe that Professor Russell is at Lyston Fortress. Are you absolutely certain? Miss Dorothy's photograph and the shutdown of orbital power in the gate. These two things combined make the conclusion inescapable. But the Central Factory and the Royal Army have always had excellent relations. And now I'm expected to believe this? It's not as if the internal command structure of the military is all run by a single entity. The people who attacked the factory were seen escaping, and they looked like royal guardsmen. That, in itself, is a clue. Oh, and that would mean... The business with the royal guardsmen is unrelated? The royal guardsmen are behind the whole thing? The royal guardsmen are being set up? The royal guardsmen are being set up? My thoughts exactly. This may be some form of internal conspiracy within the royal army. Mmm, this is unpleasant to think about. But how could the professor get caught up in something like this? Sounds like you found a lead on our friendly neighborhood criminals. What? Agate? I already thought you were dead. I was like selling your stuff online. I hope you don't mind. Good to see you back on your feet. Yeah, I just woke up a few minutes ago. It was a little weird, waking up in a strange place after being put to bed like some baby. Oh, for the love of... everyone was worried about you, alright? Are you sure you're okay with moving around so soon? Yeah, sleeping so damn much didn't give me any other option than to recover. I'm feeling pretty much back to normal. But, but Agate, you should probably rest some more. You just got the poison out of your system, and the doctor said... I just said I'm fine. I've been training for years, it's not that rough on someone like me. Uh. <laughs> alright, alright, I get it. I won't overdo it or anything until I'm back to normal. That cool with you? <laughs> okay. Damn kids. <laughs> Even the mighty Agatha is no match for Tita. I guess it's hard to say no to someone who's kept a constant vigil over you and nursed you back to health. Ah, uh, shut up. Getting back to the point, it looks like a lot's been going on while I've been out of commission. Mind filling me in on the details? Sure. And that is what happened, <laughs> yeah, basically. Estelle explained that all signs pointed to Professor Russell being held captive at Lyston Fortress. Uh, I still can't believe that Grandpa's in there. I wouldn't have thought those goons in the black clothes were army types either. <laughs> and suddenly, I'm feeling better than ever. But say we go and settle our debts right now. Settle our debts? Ain't it obvious? We sneak into Lyston Fortress. We'll bust the prof out, and they'll never know what hit him. Ah, okay. Like settling everything in one big stroke. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Huh? The Bracer Guild has a long-standing policy of non-intervention when it comes to a nation's military. Article 3 of the Guild Code 
bracers and non-involvement in military or, polit or political matters. A bracer will recognize a nation's sovereignty and may not interfere with nor arrest any person of national, military or political standing. Or to put it more simply, as long as the army is playing dumb about this, our hands are tied. Oh, you've gotta be kidding. No way, that doesn't make sense. You mean that we can witness a crime, but if it's done by a soldier or a politician, we just have to pretend we didn't see anything? Essentially, yes. There is, however, a loophole. Article 2 of the Guild Code. Bracers and their duty to the people. In the event of unjust imperilment of citizens, the Bracer's sworn duty is to bear the responsibility for the citizens' safety. Do you understand the significance of this? Yes, they are harming the professor, we may rescue him. <laughs> we just have to... have proof. I see. The professor is not a politician or a soldier. He's a civilian whom we're, we're sworn to protect. So then... The rest hinges upon you, Mr. Murdoch. In this case, we are obligated to oppose the Royal Army and save Professor Russell. Will you help us? Stupid question. Of course I won't. I've hated the guy since I've known him. The factory needs him. Ah hell, all of Liberal needs him. Go and get him. Mr. Murdoch, thank you, thank you, thank you. No need to thank me. I owe Professor Russell for all he's taught me. And so we have adequate justification to proceed. Bracer Zagate, Estelle and Joshua. You are hereby ordered to proceed to Lyston Fortress and rescue Professor Russell. It is not as above board as you may be accustomed to, but it is the request of the Bracer Guild, nevertheless. Now you're talking. Acknowledged. <laughs> Bring it on. If we're doing this, we have to figure out where, how we're hitting, how we're getting in there. Lyston Fortress is pretty damn famous for being impossible to break into. That's true. It's easy to say we're going to do it, but putting it into practice is going to take some serious planning. There has to be some way of getting inside. Unfortunately, the security there is nigh unto perfect. Approaching from the lake would likely be impossible since it's monitored by a network of orbital sensors. <laughs> I figured as much. And a frontal assault would be tantamount to suicide. Hey, Mr. Murdoch, how about if we go under it with an excavator or something like that, a drill? Hey, Mr. Murdoch, you know that orange airship that goes to Lyston Fortress? Yes, that's the Leibniz. It makes periodic stops to inspect the equipment at the fort to make sure it's performing properly. Is there any way we could sneak into the fortress on it? No. All of the crew members go through a thorough security check as soon as they land. It'll be impossible to just sneak away. How about stowing away in the cargo? No good. Each container is scanned with a biosensor for leaving creatures and they check each and every one. Plus, those sensors were designed by Professor Russell himself. They can even pick up one little mouse in a huge mass of stuff. Hmm, well, damn. Oh. What is it, sweetie? Don't you remember? Grandpa's invention, from when I was showing you around. Let me think. No, no, I don't remember. Aha! Uh -huh. When we were helping with the experiments on a new type of orbment, right? Yeah. It produces a force field that can disrupt the biosensors. We've already tested it that it works, so everything will be fine. What? Really? I had no idea that the professor had ever made anything like that. Where is this device then? I guess it must be right where we, where he left it, in his laboratory. Then we have no time to lose. Hurry up and retrieve this device. In the meantime, I will gather and collect whatever data I can on Lyston Fortress. Cut it. Thanks. I leave the arrangement of a delivery via the Leibniz to you, Mr. Murdoch. Alright, I'll talk to Gustav. Just come to the airfield when you're ready.
All right, so back at the lab. Also, just in case. Okay, yeah, this one was cleared. The others were failed, and I think we've still got this one. Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, I could look it up, but let's report the other one in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back. Yeah, okay, sure. I could try going to Wolfort. It's the only place I haven't been. But I'm sure that as soon as I try and step out of... Okay, no, they're letting me. All right. Then... Yeah, let, let's try going to Wolfort. What the heck, why not? If it's not... Whoa, didn't even see him. If it's not the place we're supposed to be going, then... Damn it. <laughs> I like... Screw this quest, and uh, let's just carry on with our lives. I mean, it's suspicious that it's one of the only places we haven't been in this region, so... Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Cornelia Tower? Yeah, there it is, Wall Fort, okay. And why would they call it... Well, it's gotta be military, right? If it's a fort... Oh, come on, dude. Uh, why? Why? You're just gonna... Okay, yeah, bad touch. Run away. Alright. And... The amazing wall fort is... Up there. <laughs> okay, still not quite made it. Um... And there are no bodies of water here. Yeah, no, 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 no. There's gotta be probably some chests lying around, but I don't really care, so I won't even go look for them. Okay, Calvard Border, Wall Fort. Ah, this will probably be our gateway into the next region. That's why we didn't come here. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, this is what it is. Okay, alright, alright, I get you, I get you. Okay, then let's just get back at the professor house. Okay, I couldn't let it go, so I've checked online and it's supposed to be in Elmo Village. To which, like, as soon as I read that, I was like, what? Yeah, this is locked. I'm like, where? Where? I've I've been here twice to check if it was if it actually was in here. A pond. They they keep talking about a pond. It's got to be the, the the friggin' hot springs. There's no other option but like maybe. Let's see. Like, I was here last time, if you remember. There's nothing that I can interact with. Uh, yeah, no. Nothing. Zero. Nada. Zilch. Nope. I don't know. Yeah, actually... Have a have yourselves a bath, cause yeah, look what it does. It's a good thing, but still, I don't know. Like, even in the walkthrough, let's see what does it say. Just a second. Oh come on. There we go. Um. Enter the wooden path between the inn and the Elma Hot Spring. Wooden path. Wooden path. No. And it doesn't even, like... I don't see a wooden path unless... Wait a second. 
between the inn and the hot springs. Go around the pond to find the package hidden next to the statue. They gotta be referring to that place. Yeah, because this is the inn. And that is the... This is the frigging wooden path. Where is this statue? What are you talking about? It can't be that. I can't cross over to it. How the heck am I supposed to... I don't know. I don't know if I'm, like, crazy. <laughs> it sure feels... Wait. Oh. Come on. Did it... Come on. Come on. I had to go underneath? Th 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 that was a low blow, okay? That's not cool. Anyway. Found the package wrapped in oiled paper. Inside was the Herbe Woodpecker. Finally. So now it's time to go back to the librarian. And I guess we'll have at least completed like four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five side quests in Zeiss. Not bad, huh? Not good either, but not bad. Okay, see you back in Zeiss. Here we are. Oh, have you made some progress? Yep, you betcha. We brought you your book. Please, take a look to be certain. Uh-huh. Completed, finally. Oh my. This is indeed the right book. Thank you for finding it. Haha, <laughs> like there was ever any doubt. Uh, believe me, there was. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a wild goose chase. I'm quite impressed that you actually managed to find it. Now I know I can leave the rest of the work in your hands. Whoa, whoa, what rest of the work? Right. Wait, wait, what? What rest of the work? There's more? Traditionally, the researchers would hide three books. This leaves us with two still yet to be found. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did I not tell you? This is most definitely the first I've heard of it. Oh, how hard. I bought you already aboard the ship, so to speak. So I hope I can count on your full support until the end. Well, I guess so, but... You mean we have to deal with another unhinged person's idea of a game? Speaking of which, it's just like back in Ruin. No need to worry. The next book's a hint has no words. Ah, uh, really? The proof is in the pudding, as the saying goes. See for yourself. Okay. Hmm, you've gotta be kidding! No comments or anything? Those in an X? Oh, maybe the X is supposed to point where the book is? The name of the book in question is Hertz Adventure 2. Hertz is Adventure 2, got it. Only the first part remains in the library, so it gets quite frustrating having to listen to patrons ask about the sequel constantly. But I hope this gets you fired up to find it. Lovely, another brain teaser to figure out. I take back what I said about st stupid poetry, I'd much rather do that. Oh well, either way we'd still be stuck trying to puzzle it out. Well, best of luck, I'll be waiting here as always. Alright, we'll be off then. We'll be back with that book before you know it. Uh, are you sure about that? No hints, no comments, no nothing. Four dots and an X. I mean, it could be like... Uh, where am I going? <laughs> it could be like... Um, at, the, like at the main square, the plaza, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Like, right? It could be... One, two... Oh, okay, I see. There's no fourth dot. Damn it. Uh, I don't know, yeah, since we are actually kind of close to the end of the chapter, and um, I don't want to waste too much time thinking about this, I think I'm just gonna look it up, yeah. Uh, what is this? 
plus two. Okay, makes sense. Let's see. Um, on the Trat Plains Road. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's just follow directions. I was never gonna find it on my own either, anyway, so... Okay, I'll let you see what it is. And the funny thing is, I don't know if you remember, but we've already been here searching for the first book. Found the package wrapped in oil paper. Inside was Hertz's adventure too. Now back to the librarian. Oh, did you find the book by any chance? Hehe, <laughs> indeed we have. Again, please check it over just to be certain. Yep. Yes, this is the genuine article. And that leaves us with just one left. Eh, I need a break. Tell me about it, Estelle. What kind of book are we chasing down this time anyway? Oh, I'll spare you the teasing this time. And the last one is entitled 31 Cypress Trees. And here's its card. It's got more of that unusual writing on it. Ah, you 3 1 Cypress Trees nestled atop this grassy hill. Afflictions are far off of FL and draw nigh unto me like wine barrels. Tumbling lightly down a soft incline as I drift into reverie, enveloped within the resonance of, a, of the tolling bell. Okay, so three, three FL barrel. Oh man, more of this gibberish. I think I'm actually starting to get used to this. Another riddle. Yeah, I guess so. Is this your specialty or something? Well, your task is the same as before. May our ideas herself speed you on your way to success. Okay, we're going. Pardon us? <laughs> Riddle me this, Batman. <laughs> um, okay, first floor. So, 3FL barrel. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna try and uh, guess what that is. Let's look it up. It's Sun Time Gate. Okay, so this way. Right? I think. Mm, yes, right? Yeah, okay, nice. Okay, in we go. So, yeah. 3FL referred to the third floor, and that much like is. Okay. It's actually a useful hint. But nowhere in that frigging card did it say that it was in this place. So the only thing would have been, yeah, y you had to check for barrels in third floors of buildings of the whole region. Like, come on, give me a break, game, okay? A package was found wrapped in oil paper. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, hoo found it. That's the last one. Now we can finally finish up our work for the librarian. You ain't kidding. Huh? What's wrong? There's a card stuck in the book. And something's written on it. You have done well. Though I know you're not, I salute you for coming so far. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a quartz researcher and the criminal who hid the three books. I've used the riddles as a way to find someone intelligent to whom I could entrust my work, or someone who cuts around corners and goes on walkthrough guides, and you lived up to my hopes and expectations remarkably. Consider the enclosed quartz your reward. Take care when examining it. Thank you for all your time. I surely hope that my quartz will prove useful to you. P.S. If you have found this package by sheer chance, how embarrassing, and lucky you, please return it to the second floor archives of the central factory. That's it. So it was all one big practical joke? Yeah, I guess so. Have you looked into the package? Alright, let's see what we can see. Impede 3. <laughs> Jackpot! 
I think we should check in with the client for the time being. Fine by me. Sure, but what does that do? Impede three. There it is. Prevent enemy art with... Whoa. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Hmm. I actually wonder. I, I want to go to... Um, back to the Orbment factory. And I want to check if I can unlock any slots. For... Uh, f at least for one of the guys. We'll see. Anyway. Back to Zeiss. Alright, let's see, my man, modify ex- no, wait, quartz? No, okay, uh, was he not the dude, trade, yeah, no, that doesn't, oh, it's lot. I'm stupid, yeah, Estelle, can I unlock this one, openable, okay, nice, finally, and Joshua, openable, nice, and okay it was his last one cool still don't think i'm gonna do anything with tita and agate just because they might leave us any second now so why bother right i mean if i had an overabundance of sabbath and money sure but i don't so this is where we're at all courts okay self and guard is there anything that gives us something cool Earth wall, or earth lance, stone impact. Eh. Now, yeah, let's give impede to Estelle and maybe time only. Uh, actually, let's see if I can buy a time course because it's a shame having this empty. Uh, all right, the other slot, please. All course, okay. Oh. Okay, th this wouldn't be bad, actually. Actually. But yeah, let's do Eagle Eye. And then, dude, modify exchange, quartz. Do you have anything? Yeah, with time. Alright. Uh, action 2, blind, cast, cast 2. Ooh, yes, yes, please. Nice. I mean, it's not like we cast many arts with him, with him either. If anything, it should go to Estelle. Actually, hmm. yes. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. I was doing this specifically because it's a uh, time quartz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Now, dear librarian, I hope this is the end. Because um, I don't think I'm gonna follow your shenanigans anymore. Like, even if it's not the end. Oh, perchance, have you? Yep, we have the last book. Just to be sure, please take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, this is definitely it. I'm impressed. You actually found all three books. Hehe, <laughs> it just took some perseverance and patience. Oh yeah, that's not all we found. It was right in the same spot as the book. But we already equipped it, so... Finders Keepers. Handed over the note and quartz left behind by the thief. Hmm, perhaps this is a clue as to his motivations. Still, regardless of the reason, uh, you've done a great deal for me. You can keep the quartz for yourselves. In return for my having taken up so much of your time. Thank you. So, is that all that you needed us to do? Yes, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a relief. I was afraid you were going to say you still had more work for us. <laughs> no joke. You worked so hard that there's really nothing left. <laughs> I'm very grateful for your help. Now I can just relax for the time being. What? Oh, it's nothing. Thank you again. Feel free to come by anytime. We will, thanks. Pleased to be of service. And the Gata is just standing there, wondering why we're wasting time with this when there's uh, the life of the professor at risk. I. What the. Uh, like. The, I don't even know what to say because it all happened 
on its own. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> okay, uh, Professor's house should be down here and to the right. Yep. Now, where is that thing? It's gotta be here somewhere. Uh, maybe in a corner of the lab or the second floor archives? Those are where Grandpa usually does his stuff from his old inventions. Eccentric old coot. But whatever, let's just find the damn thing. Sure. Yeah, let's start from the lab. Uh, no, 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 no. Alright, it's upstairs. Whoa, 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 not out on the balcony. Is this it? Found it! That's the ornament that was in our experiment, alright. So, can we use it? I think so. If everything performs the specs, then it'll keep a biosensor from working right. And if not, we'll be shot on sight. Found detector jammer. Alright, back to the guild then. Kilika's probably finished collecting intel on Fort Lyston by now. I mean, yeah, because we we actually were out for like three, four days trying to, to find all the books, so yeah, probably she's been done at least like a couple of days ago. We're back, Kilika, and we have the device. I have also finished my preparations. Now, what I am about to show you is not to be spoken of to anyone else. Received Lyston Fortress map. Ah, you sneaky bastards. You did have the schematics though, huh? <laughs> well, would you look at that. These are the schematics for Lyston Fortress? Well, it sure is big. And Grandpa's in there somewhere. Isn't the layout of the fort a military secret? How'd the guild get its hands on it? The guild has ways of obtaining information. It is best that you not know. The Bracer Guild is a much more complex organization than it may appear. And you would do well to remember that. Okay. I don't think I need to remind you that this is an exceptionally unique case. Relations between the army and the guild have traditionally been excellent and liberal, even relative to the other surrounding nations. It is absolutely crucial that we not cause any ill will. The, uh, the guild can ill afford hostilities with the army. Do I make myself clear, Agate? <laughs> yeah, I guess. But if I see the men in black clothes, they are going to have a hot date with the business end of my sword. Not the pleasure end. Soldiers or not, I've been looking for them so long now that I think they... Now that I think they'd be offended if I didn't kick their asses. Do what you must. I just ask that you take no lives. Estelle and Joshua. Legally, I should not entrust you I should not entrust a task like this to junior bracers. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. I don't like what you're driving at. We're already a part of this. Please, allow us to see it through to the end. I thought you might say that, and I don't intend to stand on your way in your way. But it must be said that your answer that you answer to Zeiss. As such, if worse comes to worst, I will accept full responsibility for your actions, you needn't worry. Uh, Kilika I'm sorry, we've caused so much trouble for you. Yes you have. Now then, Tita. Since you're not a bracer, I have no authority over you. But are you truly set in your course? Uh, uh yes ma'am, I am. What? What's this all about? You don't mean... Um, I'm the only one who knows how to operate the device, so I'm going with you. What? Well, it is a very complicated ornament. I'm sorry. I don't want to cause any trouble, but I have to go too. You've gotta be shitting me. Listen, Pipsqueak, I ain't hearing this crap. What the hell are we supposed to do with a kid on a mission this dangerous, huh? But, but you need me to operate the device. Then forget that idea. We'll find another way to sneak in. 
Alright, enough. Lighten up. Why are you so damn stubborn? You wanna run that by me again? Tita's ready and she said she wants to help. And her help will make it easier for us to sneak in. All that improves our chances of getting the professor out safely. I want to know why you're so against it now of all times. You little... Have you even thought about her being a civilian, and a kid besides, and you're okay with putting her in danger? Oh, I get it, I get it, someone thinks he has a little sister to protect. I don't like it any more than you do, but we'll keep her safe. We're bracers, that's our job. You sure talk a big game for a rookie. And what does experience have to do with this? Bracers aren't the only ones who feel that some people are worth protecting. Isn't supporting that ideal what we're supposed to be all about? It's still, uh, Joshua, um, Agate, I'm sorry that I make you so mad, but my grandpa is everything to me. All I want is for him to be okay, so I'm going to do everything I can to make sure he is. Besides, you helped me when I needed it, so let me do the same for Estelle and Joshua, and for you. I swear that I'll be good, and I'll follow orders. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, sweetie. I didn't realize you'd put so much thought into this. <laughs> I don't buy it. If you really want to help us that badly without getting in our way, then follow orders and stay here, you got it? But we really don't have any other way to get in there. I'd rather not do this. Truth be told, I can't think of a few thousand things I'd rather do, but I'll let it slide. This one's. Hey, thank you, Agate. You got no reason to thank me. You fall behind, you get left behind. Just so you know. Uh, Alright. I swear, one of these days, by the goddess, you're a jerk! Why can't you just be nice and appreciate what she's saying? Settle down, Estelle. He's just the type who speaks, uh, colorfully when he's embarrassed. It's a defense mechanism. Both of you, shut it! <laughs> <laughs> now I trust that the matter has been settled. The Leibniz will soon be ready to set off. When you are ready, please proceed to the airfield. Will do! Later, Kilika. Take care of talking with the army for us. I have appropriate responses lined up. Should they decide to question us? Ideas keep you. Please be careful. Will do, but also. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah! Fourth class. Received strike quartz as a perk. Nice. Let's see what that is about. Uh, orbments. Uh, no. Yes. Strike. Oh, there it is. Critically strike with 10% success. Eh, honestly, it's kind of lame. We could equip it to... Oh, no, yeah, they're full. It's fine. It's fine. Now, to the airfield. Is the um, chief going to be waiting for us there? Yes, right, he said so. My dude, yeah, there he is, I see him. I don't see where I'm going, though. I've been waiting for you. Is everybody ready? Yeah, we can go anytime. Is the Leibniz ready, too? Yeah, you were lucky that last-minute military order came through like that. We were just about to head out to Lyston Fortress. We can take off anytime. Anytime? Wouldn't it be hard to leave without, you know, the ship? Estelle, look down. Okay. Oh, do we have to, um, jump? <laughs> no, we don't. What? What the? What's happening to the flight deck? What, you, didn't you know? This place got enough secrets built into it to blow your mind. To be honest, I got it. Okay. 
also there's an airship elevator. Alright, I guess if you came from the countryside and wasn't accustomed to such uh, technology, maybe it would be impressive. But, I don't know, it's not, for me, it's not that impressive. I don't know how much more mine I have left to blow. You probably have more left than I do, Estelle. And all of this, it's all... I know, it's all Professor Russell's handiwork, right? Tita, your grandfather is something else. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Thanks for waiting, guys. I don't remember which voice I gave him. Uh, sir. Howdy, Tita. I already heard everything from Murdoch. From Murdoch. Hard to believe what happened to the professor. Guess it's up to us to help him out of it. Thank you. Yeah, we owe you. <laughs> Not at all. I'm the one who owes Professor Russell. Okie dokie, we're ready. Are we ready to lift off? Uh, yes, yeah. Alright, let's load up. We're off to Lyston Fortress. Please bring Professor Russell back home safely. And take care of Tita. Is there... No sweat. Let's go then. All right, the big showdown of chapter three. I mean, who do you figure is gonna be the final boss fight of the chapter? I'll be counting on you, Bracers. Hey, wait. Ha, sure, you wanted to come into the highly dangerous and uh, surveilled military fortress? Nah, I don't think so, Dorothy. Whoa, head rush. Huh? Dorothy? Oh, Chief! We're still in crew aboard the last ship? That's right, how did you know? The guild tipped me, and there's big trouble brewing. If, the, if what my editor told me rings true, I wanted to let them know before they left. What kind of trouble? I shudder to think how much worse the situation can get. Well, this is totally off the record, but it seems some members of the Royal Guardsmen in Gransel were just arrested for treason. What? I mean, is this... Hmm. That, that should be a good thing, unless the bad guys arrested the good guys, which could also be the case. This is the container where, where you'll be hiding. I hope you all of you are real close friends. It's going to be a tight squeeze for four people. Really? It looks big enough. It's only half as big as inside as it looks. Gotta have cargo in there for camouflage's sake. <laughs> Think of yourselves like the filling for a donut. That's... not encouraging. We'll be fine. It's all a matter of how you approach the situation. I'll get the job done, but I wouldn't want to take a, vac a vacation here, in there. All right. Say, man, you got any ornament facilities here or anything? I'm a little off kilter, so I want to change things up. We have an onboard factory of sorts. You're welcome to make use of it. I'll go too. My ornament could use a little tune-up after all it's been through. This way, Agate. <laughs> all right. Lyston Fortress is a 30-minute flight from here. It won't be too comfortable in that container, so you ought to get some rest while you can. Sure thing. Thank you. Um, okay. Can I save? First and foremost. There we go. Uh, here. Nice. Uh, what about you, Faye? Professor Russell abducted by the Royal Army. This changes so many things. If they notice the container is fake, it'll ruin the rescue and expose our troops. I've got to concentrate. Fair enough. Thank you for your efforts. Uh, okay. 
Nothing too interesting here, just tools. Alright, the captain's seat. Raymond, we're being swept north northeast. You son of a hurry up and get us back on course. Every minute you play around is putting Professor Russell in greater danger. Just shut it, old timer. I can't concentrate with you barking in my ear like that. Okay. Seems like oh, little kitty cat. Yeah, Antoine. It's still him. Oh, so he's a. Uh, he's actually the ship's uh, cat. That's cool. And now he's gone. Factory chief not telling us sooner didn't help. Didn't help either. Show a little trust. Okay, this is the outside. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, just to make sure. Ooh, the lounge. Okay. Man, for being like a cargo ship, it sure is uh, well equipped and it seems like it also has some um, like uh, nice comfortable furniture and stuff, like... Uh, Cool. The, very well then, uh, let's see your combat torment. Uh, uh, I'll just run a quick diagnostic on it. Um, this isn't... Wow, you just light all up around some new gadget. Okay. Uh, very well then, uh, let's see... Okay, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, where are we supposed to rest? Like, there's no prompt here in the lounge. Should I just go talk to to the captain and say, yeah, we're ready? Something wrong? Flight to license for, yeah, 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 gotta get the container ready. Enjoy moving. Okay, maybe um, we should go to the upper deck. And, um, I don't know. Ah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, look how high up we are. It's been a really long time since I was in on an airship. No kidding. We didn't exactly have time to go sightseeing on the Sky Bandit ship. Not that this even really compares. We're in an exponentially more dangerous situation now than we were at that point. We need to stay alert. There's no telling what might happen. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm still having a hard time wrapping my head around the idea of something like this happening in Liberal, though. It feels like the start of something really big, like a franchise that could spend 30 games. My thoughts exactly. The Sky Bandits and those men in black there were manipulating the Mayor of Ruin behind the scenes. If we can learn more about them, we might be able to get a solid lead. Not to mention why that disappeared like that. Yeah, well, while we are saving the Professor we can look around for clues. Oof, okay, this ought to do it. The metal part of the slot connectors got loose. Anyone ever tell you you're a busybody? If I wanted mods that simple, I could do them myself. But hey, thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, by the way, how are you feeling? I hope you didn't. You don't feel all yucky. Yeah, I'm fine. You really don't have to worry. If you really want to worry about someone, worry about yourself. Now's not the time to back out. If you s oh now is the time to back out if you still want to. I uh, don't get me wrong. I ain't telling you not to come. It's just, aren't you scared? Huh? Even though we're doing this for the old man, we're still breaking into a military base. Most kids would piss themselves at the idea of doing something this major. I don't know, dude. Like, kids are kids. If you take away their uh, fear of death like they don't have much of that so so I don't know they, they might think oh this is some cool stuff I want to do it yes so how come you're all carefree about it 
Um, well, I'm really scared out of my mind. But I have Joshua and Estelle with me. And you, Agate. You. And you're here, too. Not being alone makes it easier, so I don't have to think about how scared I am. Hee <laughs> hee, maybe that's a little stupid. <laughs> a little? Try incredibly. You suck. Anyway, worrying is just a waste of time. Hee <laughs> hee sorry. Um, can I ask you something? Where'd this come from? I, um, uh, I was just wondering, who's, uh, Misha? How do you know that name? Who sent you? <laughs> and he smashes her against the window. Uh, I, um, you called me that when you were poisoned. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, it's nothing I'm ashamed of. Misha's my kid's sister. Oh, wow, your big brother? How old is she? Older than me? Well, sort of. I guess she'd be around your age. I guess you haven't seen her in a long time. I'll give you a hint. If I die here, I'll see her real soon. Work keeps me busy. I only go home about once a year. Oh, poor Misha. What's that supposed to mean? I just think that if I had a big brother, I'd want to be with him all the time. I bet she feels the same way. Really? Well, you might be right. If I was more reliable, maybe I'd be with her. Huh? Looks like it's time. Oh, here you are. Hi, Estelle. Didn't you hear the announcement? We'll be arriving soon. Yeah, I'm all done getting ready. Did you get everything you need, sweetie? Yep, you betcha. I even tested the timing. I think I should be able to handle the biosensor, so leave that to me. Well, now that's encouraging. We're counting on you, Tita. Right. Why don't we head down to the cargo hold? Or, even better, why don't we save and see what happens next time? Thank you, everybody, for having followed me thus far. I have been Loof Dog, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.